Curtis. Uh, DC 15 and minus four will save. Okay. Uh, we'll save. All right. We'll save. Is what it is. 21? Is that including the minus four? Uh, it's including the minus four. So. Um, okay. So he's not frightened, but he's still shaken for a number of rounds. I don't right. know what his. Uh, I don't know what his DC is. It, it, it's one round plus one for every five you beat it by, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. And you got a what? 39. Okay, so... All right. So I'll put that on initiative. You shaking for how many rounds? Uh, he's shaking for four rounds. Uh, th yeah, four rounds total. Okay. Yeah, it's one plus five for every. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that was Alistair. Yep. Ghost. Um, guards, huh? Oh, guards. Are no, no, guards flat, flat footed guards, huh? No, no, yeah, I'm just saying oh, yeah, guards. Yeah. Uh, okay. So Ghost will fire at guard five. Uh, it'll be a rapid shot. Okay. Ten, two. Blank shot. AC 17, AC 25, flat footed. 17 misses. Uh, these guys are, are sporting like full chain mail. Okay. Uh, 17 misses and, um, is it chain mail? Regardless. And twenty. Uh, the other one hits. Uh, cold work. Yes, they take cold damage for sure. Okay, including the cold and the sneak attack, he takes fifteen damage. Oh, he's very nearly bloodied. Okay. Second attack. That one. 19 would have hit, maybe? Would have hit, yeah. And third attack. AC 10. All right. A bunch of arrows go peppering at this guard. Oh, yeah. The guard felt that. Uh, Los. Jaga uh, with his hand on the funerary urn. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Comes out of the urn. Uh, I'm just going to roll a d8 to see what square he ends up in. Uh, he's like. Ah! <laughs> this guy beside me, if you wouldn't mind, Los. Okay! And then he will. <laughs> yeah, he'll fly up to this this guy right here. Cut it through the table. Okay. And, and attack the guard. At this point, they're all like, Ghost! <laughs> yes, stock. The ghost touch piranha striking a stock. AC seventeen misses. Oh wait, is it? Is it a touch or? Nope. No. Okay, that misses. Yep. These guys are wearing. Let me be specific. I know what it looks like what it looks like. Sorry, they're wearing half plate. Yeah, that's like. Plus seven, seventeen, and then a shield. Half plate. Ow. Ow. Uh, I think it's Dex. No, it's not Dex. Why are they not a seven? They got a plus eight for armor. Well, I guess it's plus one half plate now. Oh, half plate's plus eight. Yeah. It is plus eight. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That that's what they're wearing. Okay. Bang! Ha! -ha! It's fine. It'll turn into a brawl. Yeah, it's going to turn into a brawl. Guards. Guards. Uh, okay, this one. Guard number five did not enjoy being shot by by Junker. He's 
going to take a swing at Junker. Ghost or Junker? Oh, uh, Junker's the one who hit him. No, Ghost and, is. And plus, Los is a ghost. And no one in their right mind wants to fight a ghost. G- ghost is the one that hit him. Junker threw the rats down. Ghost. Yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah, so he's going after Ghost. Okay. Ghost is the one who got him. Uh, and he's just blaming the rats for the rats. So. Mm-hmm. And bonus to hit with the heavy flail plus five. He moves, pulls out a heavy flail, swings it at you. You see 15. Nope. Scrambles out of the way. Yep. Not a better control it is. Guard number one is moving in to protect his liege, but not too crazily. Uh, He can get there without provoking, and he does. He will take a swing at... Our large friend Chaga. Okay, Chaga sitting down, says AC is minus two. AC 24. Uh, with his tower shield, he's got AC 28. Sitting down is AC 26. Okay, so... Bang! You're really going to make me stand up, are you? <laughs> Just get out of here! Go away! <laughs> we have a dog tonight! All right, guard number seven is just whacking at trying to hit he's trying to get the rats off and beat the rats off you see 23 oh, he actually form? he actually hits the rats for him uh, plus. Right. does five damage to the rat swarm okay uh, the rat swarm has 20 temporary hit points remaining before yep. we get down to the familiar hit points. So, all right. And one in front of Mort is going to take us pull out. Yeah. He pulls out his weapon, takes a swipe at Mort, missing, and then he's going to step back in the hopes of. In the hopes of uh, grouping up with his allies so he doesn't take another beating, which he's going to do anyway. And Barnabas. The two, no, the two guards out, outside are trying desperately, after hearing the melee inside, to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see if one can help the other. Does not aid, so 1d20 plus 2. Not even close to Mort's CMD, so... Nope. Oh, you see the door, like, pounding into the Mort's butt, and Mort's not moving. All right, Barnabas. It's going to... Oh, he's going to start a bard song. All right, boys, no need to kill him. Just make the... Uh, just need to make him pay. <laughs> Insolence is a crime in some societies, you know. <laughs> Junker. Junker's rats do their work. Another four damage on that guard. Guard's having a bad time. And then two fort saves. Uh, another four damage. And the fort saves. Twenty and ten. I think he's sickened. And that's minus one. Two. Two? Yeah. Two attacks and all right. Um take attacks damage and save. He's sickened for five rounds. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, that. All right, that was his rat swarms. Um... I think 
Junker is going to step and then ready an attack on one of the guards. They're threatening all three of them, um, mm -hmm. starting with the most injured, uh, when Ghost enters his square. So he's oh, okay. yeah. readying an attack. Sounds good. Chaga. Chaga will blow the brains out of this guard. Okie doke. Um, uh, cast defensively or? Yeah. I At the end of the round, the serving staff went and hid behind the bar. It's just nonsense. No, Chaga will take the AO. Okie doke. Sitting down, it's 26? Yeah, yep. it's 20. you need 20s even when you're sitting. <laughs> Burn! <laughs> Chaga behind, behind his tower away. shield will just point at him and do 5d6 plus. Five mental damage, twenty six mental damage. Okay, that brings him to his knees. Uh you need gets a fourth save. I guess it will save. Oh, though. you get the will save. All right, yeah. You think the guard will save? Is that awesome? Seventeen. Oh, for God's sakes! Yeah, that's a fail. Oh, he very nearly crumples to his knees. Okay, Chaka will now stand. Okay. Uh, next up is Mort. Uh, you can reach that guy. Let me try again to swat that guy, Andy. Oh, 25. Oh, uh, Bard Songs, 14. Let's see, 27 is a hit. How's your new club working out, Mort? 36 damage to a guy who already, yeah. And just as you say that, you see the big club come crashing down on this guard, and it seemed to cause his head to enter his torso. Uh, I'm giving uh, him an X. <laughs> yeah, he got an X. <laughs> oh, pretty good. Uh, he's gonna, And he's going to hold the door. Okay. Trafon, shaken. Uh, Trafon uh, cowers uh, in the corner, holding his knife up defensively. I'll put a prone. Okay. He doesn't have to. He's only shaken. He doesn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> he chooses to. <laughs> Uh, next up, Alistair. Alistair. We'll move around for the flank with Los. <laughs> okay. And we'll, we'll, no, he'll slice with the Kukri. Spart song and flank. AC twenty one. That's a hit. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but uh, slicing the guy for three damage. Okay, that's a plus two bard song included. Oh no, nope. five damage. Uh, he looks like he's going to keel over. Okay, so he took twenty six from the spell. Oh, it's 26 from the spell. Hang yeah. on, I gotta add. And 5 from, so he's at 31. He's still barely standing. Okay. Uh, so Alistair moved, and he's going to attack again, I guess. Slice, slice. Critical threat. Oh. 
critical hit. Yep. This is why we have uh, standard damage with a major condition for one round. So 2d3 plus uh, plus two bar song. So plus six. It's 11 damage. Let me open up the chart. Addition, I confirmed to the 26, so he needs to make some sort of saving throw, DC 26, and the major condition is this table. He doesn't make his save. Uh, five is ex uh, like frightened. Well, he can't be frightened because he's very much unconscious. Okay. Uh, how does Alistair take down... The large half plated guard. Uh, going for the groin because he's small and climbing underneath the table. So it's like the the, the backwards blade of the kukri is just going yeah. up and up and up and up and up, and he's he, laughing. He just screams. He drops his his weapon, holds himself, trying to keep himself together. Just falls over. Oh, and, and they serve nuts. <laughs> That's awful. I'm ashamed I laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd get you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gross. ghost. Ghost is gonna no. Ghost is gonna oh, step, and then uh, Junker gets his yeah, AO. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna start attacking this guard against the wall because he's okay. threatened, and uh, because he's threatened, uh, there are sneaks. Yep. <laughs> okay, with Bard Song and Point Blank Shot, it's eleven. So Junker's readied shot hits AC twenty five. Shit. Okay, the bow doesn't do a lot of damage. Sneak attack does though. And Bard Song for sixteen damage. Oh. This is a sh small short bow, but with a sneak attack. He's starting to look to the door because oh, you got him right in the chink where the where the plate kind of. Bends a bit, so you can bend over. You got him right where that meets, and it's going right into him, and he's hurting. So this guy's 31 damage? 31 damage, yeah. He's hurting bad. All right, so that was the ready shot. That's all he can do, but now it's Ghost's turn. And yep. um, rapid shot, we don't have to do it the same guy, so first mm -hmm. attack is a rapid shot from Ghost. Okay. Uh, point blank shot, flank. And Bard Song increases my plus 10 to plus uh, 15. Uh, you know what? He's going to deadly aim. So plus 13. Okay, the guy. There you go. The, the, the guy against the wall. Yep. AC 21. That's a hit. Okay. 2d6 plus 4 plus Bard Song. Got point blank shot in there, plus deadly aim, plus sneak attack. He does 30 damage to the guard against the oh wall. Oh my god. Yeah. You pin him to the wall by the throat. <laughs> nice. Big ol' X. Oliver, what's going on? Not much. You just crap. You just cra game. <laughs> <laughs> we are streaming. Uh, you you are you just crashing our game. <laughs> I'm crashing. Yeah. What up, guys? That's interesting. Finish your thing. I'm just watching yeah. for now. Okay. Well, I gotta get your your picture in there. Get my mug in there. Yep. Uh, okay. Like, so that was the first pretty. rapid shot. The second rapid shot. I guess we'll go on this other guard. Okay. Uh, he's similarly flanked. So this is a. Flanked point blank shot, deadly aim. Second half of the rapid shot, AC twenty eight. So one d six, one d six plus three for the arrow normally, and then it's point blank for plus one, plus one d six for uh, uh, frost, and then it's plus two for bard song, plus four for deadly aim, plus three d six for the sneak. Another 30 damage. Oh, okay. 
he falls amongst the rat swarm. <laughs> I am just gonna, I am just he's not quite dead I'm just going to call him dead cuz the rats will just Let me shut the house. Okay. But as soon as he falls the rats are crawling in his mouth. And he's dying terribly. It sounds like you have some patrons at the door. Why don't we let them in? This <laughs> Okay. Look, Lo Lois is going to fly over to here and hide Los's stealth is plus 19 and he can choose to make no sound if he decides to okay uh, yeah, sorry uh, 31 total on the stealth okay they're not gonna see you thanks to the plus eight racial from the ghost template. So he's and he's ready to attack when a guard comes into the door. I don't know where the door is. Uh, the so door is yeah, right here. Yeah. So he's yeah. basically yeah. Barnabas is uh, Barnabas hiding Morgan. in the rafters or the plus one from above, <laughs> Morgan, allowing the guards basically to bull rush him. Okay. This guy moves in there. This guy moves in there. Take your AOO. Yeah, Los will take his ready to end his AOOs. He has combat reflexes, I believe. Uh, uh, you would know that better than I do. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He, he, no. he it is on his list. <laughs> um, so uh, an attack and an AOO is basically what we're looking at. Okay. On that first guy. Uh, sure. Above Bard Song is eleven. AC 17, AC 24. I was hiding, so that's flat footed, but we know he gets it. Yeah, flat yeah. footed doesn't. Uh, 17 does not hit. The other does. Okay, he takes 15 damage. Oh! Yeah, you stab him, like, right down the collar of his arm. <laughs> that's the first guy. Ouch. Damn it. Yeah, and then I, I missed on the I missed on the ready, but it hit on the AOO yeah. as he pushed his yeah. way through, and the other guy doesn't provoke. I don't have any AOOs left. Uh, he bull rushed. Uh, he aided. He's gonna try. He's a ghost and tries to move. Go ahead, and take your AOO. No, I am. I'm out. You're out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You're out. He doesn't like. Ah, oh, freak. Where is he going? He just knows he does not want to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Working for the slumlord. <laughs> yeah, come up and... Oh, it's a ghost! There's a giant! There's rats! <laughs> uh, Barnabas. Uh, he thinks things are going swimmingly, so he's just going to let it go. Apparently. Actually, he says that, but... Um, excuse me, you don't mind if I load my crossbow here, do you? <laughs> Pulls out his crossbow, loads it. He's just got it readied. Junker it's going to move to the same square as Mort because it's safe in there. Yeah. <laughs> he is going to ready his attack against one of the guards when Ghost joins him in that square. Okay. You know what? He doesn't need to. Yes, he does because we got a flank from the opposite area and you don't have the swarm fight. Okay, yeah, he's going to ready. Chaga is just going to get up and well he already got up uh let's see he steps he picks up the remains of peppercorn and then moves to the bar. Are you kidding? <laughs> and puts Puppercorn down. Okay. <sighs> I'll start cooking it. Oh, the, 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 the serving staff is like 
cowering almost as bad, almost as badly as Trifon is right now. Uh, you may want to clean it first, and like instead of putting it down, he just hucks Peppercorn at the at the staff. <laughs> oh God! Okay. Oh God! Mister <laughs> Thomason. Uh, hey, Mister Thomason. All right. Mort again. Uh, he's going to, there's a guy right in front of him. Closer they are, the more he hates it. C19 is a hit. And roll to attack again. C11's a miss. This could hit. And, uh,. That's two hits, so we'll see how the damage goes out. I have a feeling the first guy is going down, because I know his hit points. So 28. Uh, Mort takes his Tetsubo and drives it into the guy's chest and pushes him right through the door, uh, killing him. And then brings his club around and misses, and on the backswing catches uh, guard number two. Uh, this time for enough to slam him up against the wall and puts him down. Okay. Chaga in charge of the situation basically tells Moore to pull the guard in and lock the door. We're going to have a bit of a sit-in. You just wait there, Trifon. We'll cook up a nice meal for you. <laughs> Lois will just go keep him guarded. <laughs> Poke at him if he, if he does anything bad. And Ch Chaga is going to help the, the staff cook up peppercorn. Okay, at uh, one... At one point, uh, Geneva looks like she's about to vomit. <laughs> it's fine, dear. She vomits right in the pot. <laughs> Where peppercorn is? Yep. Uh, we'll prestigitate and uh, we'll get it all clean. Chaga will use his tools to help them. It's not, how, right. it's not how you cook meat. <laughs> okay, the guy's like, oh my god, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, but he does it. Um, he is scared of you guys, that's for sure. Um, An 18 on the profession cooking. Uh, Barnabas goes to the door. If anyone tries to come in, I'll let them know we're closed for the day. <clears throat> We've got a terrible rat problem, it seems. <laughs> okay, Chaga will take a seat. All right. Uh, it takes. Um, how do you cook peppercorn? I uh, will roast him. Roast him. Okay. They put him in the fire. He comes out. Make a craft cooking check. Yeah, eight, eighteen. It's it's barbecue. Yeah, it's barbecue. He, didn't quite have the sauces you'd want for it, but it still smells. smells okay, like so beer. who did you just fucking cook? <laughs> they just cooked um, this. Trif this uh, he's a slumlord. He's a slumlord that did something to his own father, and he's dealing with hags, and the hags are forcing us to do their bidding. So, so Chaga, so, Chaga's a little cranky today. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Got it. Chaga, Got it go to so, head blow up his yappy dog's head and now they're they're cooking the dog and I, I assume you're going to make him eat it now. yeah yes <laughs> okay uh you you sit it down in front of him <laughs> Whatever you want to do. He, 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 he puts the he puts the seasoning on it on the table and just he's just weeping <laughs> he's beside himself um 
Please don't make me do this. He sticks a fork in his back. <laughs> <laughs> Ch- Chaka. Chaka steals himself for this. There is an order to things and the syndicate families. He is still a syndicate member. For him to receive disrespect like that after being recognized is unacceptable. Okay. Plus, plus, this guy is obviously... Yeah, he's he's got no he's walked around he's walked around the uh um the south wall district and it's an absolute slum and this guy's like behind it so he's he's got no well you know he he is one of many but y- yes yep his type of business is what causes what what's happening here chaga has got no problems with what's going on right now okay, well he's uh, got some but this is just chug it. Okay, he eats it. He eats. <laughs> How is it taste? He's always with you now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he stops for a second, looks up at Chaga, like, what am I supposed to say? It's... Oh, how's Chaga looking at him, like... Ch- Chaga's just passively looking at him, but he's, he's observing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right he, he he eats uh peppercorn and tears and a fair bit of snot that comes out of his nose for lunch yeah do you, do you make him finish or yeah he eats he eats it until yep. there's nothing like left but bone and grizzle okay um he he is he is he's a broken man uh by the end of the meal. No, yes. I hope that this delicious lunch has um jogs your memory. <laughs> you wanted the hex. You wanted to know where the hex the Oh, you know what they are. How how pleasant. Oh he just uh they're in a warehouse in little bold holdings in, in bold town that's where that's, they're renting it out I, I don't know what they're doing there they're just renting the warehouse very well we have the information that we need uh, could, you give, could you give us the address to the warehouse I'm sure there's lots of warehouses there we wouldn't want any misunderstanding uh, he gives you the ad he speaks the address to you it's, um, he looks like he was about to say something, then he just drifted off to like crazy land. <laughs> okay. They're gonna kill you. Well, then you'll have your vengeance. If they don't, well, you'll still have my family to contend with. Maybe. He's looking. He's picking up the carcass yep. with his hands. Maybe he's like, "There's no." He, he looks like he's rubbing noses with a dog that's not there. <laughs> Maybe Papa Corp will get his vengeance. Maybe Papa Corp will get his vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> delightful <laughs> for the people. <laughs> Um, out of curiosity, do you make any attempt to save the guard? No. No. All right. We will call them dead. Now, if we find out that you go running to go warn the hags of our coming, well, we'll just have to pay a visit to your house. Oh. No, I'm not, I won't do that. I'm not going to do that. Nope. Don't no, worry. No. We'll, if we come pay a visit, we'll we'll bring some things for us to eat. I'm sure you have a nice kitchen. <laughs> he just starts crying again. <laughs> All right, let's go back into the into the funeral here, and and Chugger just makes like a like a like 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 let's move. Yep. Um, 
Mort shrinks down. Barnabas crawls in the wagon. The rat swarms shrink down. <laughs> All right. Copy this. All right. Let us see. All right. I, I need I need to take a quick uh, bathroom break. Um, yep. However, before we go, I'm going to spend a DM point. You do that. So, and then you could role play with Ahmed. Um, okay. Hello. Alistair, while at the top of the Belafont Tower, was occasionally taking pot shots with his crossbow at people that were walking on the side of the street of the tower. Like basically, that was the instructions from Chaga. He noticed this um, blue-skinned hob who noticed him. He walked down the wrong part of the street, kind of disrespectfully in front of our tower, but disappeared. And Alistair, like, didn't get a shot off at him. But a couple days later, when Alistair was at the top of the tower, just looking over what he considers his part of the city, he noticed a, a dojo, kind of like a hidden dojo on the edge of the foreign market where these hobgoblins were training and he recognized the blue skinned hob who is training next to the tower. Um, and that's your, that's Grackle's house basically is in the South wall district, Ahmed next to the Belfont tower, but in the foreign market, like you're on the edge of the foreign market near the tower and your dojo is somewhat hidden, like the training area is small, it's hidden, it's on the rooftop, but the, the Belfont Tower is much taller and has a good view. Like Basically, the only people that could see you would be the where the wizard lives. Right. So, Alistair got the idea, hey, if this guy's really good at hiding, I will, I will recruit him too. And he will take the potion that the hag gave him and with the cat, sneak the potion into the water that the people who train drink from after they finish training. So he may have gone to sleep at a different time and may end up in the, uh, in the weird dream realm at a different time. But effectively, Alistair is sending him to the hag. And you're muted. I'm going to take a quick break and then... Uh... uh... Can you just quick? Do you have a, a token for him? Yeah. Uh, if you go to the. Uh, okay, go to um, your. I'll get it. Ma Master of Puppets. No, uh, yeah. It's. Uh, Marty's, a... Marty's got to throw it in, is the thing. Okay, yeah. He's at the bottom of the characters. And I have got a cold, so. <laughs> Not worried. Ah. Uh, Where did it go? Sniffles. Uh, I stuck it. I heard. Oh, my, my I stuck it into conversation, and now I okay. need to. All right. Oh, I didn't even open map tools. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that would be a thing to do right now. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, why do I have two of these things open? Cap. Okay, so uh, go to conversation there, or, or once you're loaded up. Yeah, no, I can see it on the... Uh, on on Twitch? Yeah, yep. All right. All right, you're loading up map tools, though? Yep, yeah, it's loading up right now. Oh, okay. yeah. My other computer, it's a, little, it's a little slow. Okay. So watch it on Twitch for now. So you uh, go to sleep a little late. You spent uh, you work you worked out into the night. You're you have dark vision, correct? As a hob? Yeah. 
yeah, so darkness doesn't really affect you. If anything, it's good to practice because, yes, you can see in the dark, but the way the light works differently at that point. So you the train shadows and things like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. There are none. <laughs> um, so you went to sleep. Uh, what what humans would consider late? Yeah. Uh, uh, you wake up. You, you feel all, it's almost like you know when you feel you're being watched. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You wake up with that feeling, but you are not in your bed. You're on some white, it's not ground, it's not a floor, you don't know what it is. Solid, though. Am I dressed? You are dressed in whatever you went to sleep in. Do I have my weapons? Do you sleep with your weapons? Uh, I sleep with my sword close to me. Um, sure. Cut. I reach for my sword. Okay. Uh, you reach for your sword. It's not there. Okay. I stand. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome. I did not expect another. Who is the one who speaks with me? My name is Ursuline, and allow me to introduce myself. I take a step back for a second. <laughs> yeah, I take it. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's this hideous, hideous, like broken old woman thing, but she's got like four arms and these massive claws <laughs> on her hands, and she is just huge. Uh. Where is here? He is. Here is a relevant. Here is home. And now, you, what is your name? I am Graco. Graco. Not a human. This might be good. You know, my boy. I know not why I'm here, who you are, and who this boy is. My boy is on a dangerous mission. Save your pathetic self-boy. It would yield great rewards. Why would he have chosen you, though? Give me my sword, and I can show you. A warrior? <laughs> no mere warrior. Oh, no. No. I remain Very well. Alistair wants another friend for his little adventure. So be it. I will send you. I will send you an agent. The same agent. Oh, sorry, no. Your friends across the street. In the tower. It's like, I saw a guy shooting people with arrows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's this crazy kid who laughs every time he hits someone. And it curses every time he misses. Uh, they are here. They uh, know who I am. Do they? I, if you're saying they brought me here. Yes. 
meet with them tomorrow. I believe. Get your rest, though. You will need it to face the sisters. Sisters. They are bringing dishonor to themselves. This. Uh, dishonor. Oh. They are bringing death to themselves by trying to usurp power that is not theirs. Thieves. Then I will go to them then. <clears throat> yes, thieves. I will send a representative. She will lead you to your group. The ones you should speak to. And if I refuse? If you refuse, then so be it. Just know that there is great wealth to be had for those who succeed. Great wealth, more than you have seen in your lifetime. Wealth. But if this will help others, I oh. agree to this. Oh, yes. For if you fail, your precious south wall, if not all of Foundry, will suffer ruin and catastrophe. This I promise you. The Grackle of Clan Rovin will answer this call. Excellent. It's a cool name. <clears throat> Someone will meet you and send you in the right direction. Good evening, warrior. Good uh, evening to you. And she disappears. What the fuck was that? <laughs> you find you almost have to will yourself back to awake. And that brings you out of this realm. And and you wake up in your bed. I reach for the sword. <laughs> Instinctively, like check the blade. This is check check my blade. Yeah, everything seems fine. All right. Um. Yeah. I am to meet with you. Today will be a good day. Okay. Uh, the next day. Yeah. We're going to say you did not, Alistair didn't get the potion into the water until after the party had their thing. So this is the night before. Um, you get a knock at your door the next day in the morning. Yep. I, I have, I've, I'm waiting. I've been uh, meditating all morning. Okay. I've been waiting for someone to arrive. All right. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. There's a. Come in. Uh, you'll woman... find the door is up. This woman comes in. Do you have knowledge nature? Uh, let me check that. Yeah, this is a test run. Marty, I have two uh, two icons for him. I like the, they're both cool. One, the second one shows a little bit more of him. Sure. I like it more. But uh, you want to see him making his little pose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have knowledge nature. Okay. Uh, uh, she's yeah. just a pale skinned lady with two different colored eyes. One of them's purple though, which is pretty odd. Wait. Oh, hold on. There we go. I was looking at an 8th level Grackle. Here's a 5th level one. There we go. <laughs> you can tell their level by token, is that? <laughs> uh, there we go. All right, good. Uh, yeah, all right. So, she's just pale. Uh, pale, and she's got one green eye, one purple eye. 
You look a little different than uh, what I was expecting. You look a little different to what I was expecting. It is your name. My name is Dahlia. Welcome to my home. I am Graco. Thank you. Um, Would you like some tea? No, thanks. I, Three hours later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, I've um, just had enough to drink. Why am I here? The sister informed me that you will be taking me to see new allies. Yes, but... Why weren't you just with the rest of them? I, I had a, a vision with this uh, large creature sister. Uh, yes. She mentioned you would be coming to take me to them. This yes. was my first uh, vision with her. I just don't understand why I was told to meet one group and then meet you separately, but fine. You know more than I do. I All I know is my you services are required. And sincerely has a look like I doubt that. <laughs> no, trust me, I just joined. <laughs> are we ready to leave? Uh, whenever you are. Um, what is your name? I am Graco. Graco. Clan oh. Roven. I will take you. Um, do you know where the doting duck is in Highcrest? Knowledge local. Uh, I've got a knowledge locale. Yeah, sec. Uh, eighteen. Uh, you've heard of it. You know it's in Highcrest. I am aware of the uh, establishment. It is in Highcrest. Yes, I have not. This has not been my honor to attend it. Fine, I will take you there. And hopefully the others are still there. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. They just left, though. I, I really don't understand why I have to do it this way. But fine, I will take you. I apologize for the inconvenience that I may be causing, but it is not uh, in my hands. He's, he's, got his, he's got a sword sheathed is wearing black purplish silky tight gi okay he's got some tattoo just some tattoos on his arms uh um, where where what does it look like this place that we're going to uh it's in high it's in it's in high crest you said it's in high crest yeah okay uh he concentrates for two rounds and his clothes look nice and lavish it's uh, tattoos on his arm for sleeves. It's called um, Sleeves of Many Garments. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's an interesting trick. It is very valuable. I can imagine. Um, we should get going, though. I'm ready to go. All right. You, uh, you you walk your way to Highcrest. I am going to just say that there are no random encounters. Because random encounters with one player is not cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grackle. This is his twin brother. Srackle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I got to grab Grackle. He's there. Oh, he's there? Yep. Uh, is he at Doting? Uh, oh, there, right there. At what point does he arrive? Is this during the meal? <laughs> As you guys are just crawling back in the wagon, okay. Dahlia sees them. Uh, Grackle says, that's them there. You should go catch up with them. <sighs> let them know that... Just let them know that Ursuline requested your presence. <laughs> Alistair's just laughing at Chaga. 
That was fucking cold, mate. <laughs> uh, yes, my family has a reputation to, to uphold. Besides, yeah. I will one day rule my family. Uh, yeah, all right. Grackle uh, approaches, his hands are off his I, weapons. I didn't mean for all the gods to die. I figured the loss of a dog was, well, well cruel. Um, I should have known better. I, uh, he made his own bed. He had to sleep in it. Like it's not your fault. Excuse me. Hey, who are you? The, the Safe wolf. comings and goings to you. Uh, Ghost has actually pulled out a little longbow and has got an arrow notch and is... puts his hand up. Uh, Ursuline sent me. Dahlia has just showed me here. Uh, I was, I was told to meet with you in a strange vision I had in my sleep. Alistair, you, you, you. <laughs> He the guy. He's just, you just hear the boy laughing. <laughs> I've seen you before. It, this guy with a beard and a bowler hat sticks his head out at the back of this car, comes, sticks it back in. Alistair, the fuck is that? You seem uh, to know. <laughs> He's the hobgoblin who lives next door. Why is he here? He's really good at hiding. He hid from me when I was trying to pick him off with arrows. And you thought he would be what? A valuable ally? I... I... I pressed him into service. <laughs> and how did you do that? Secrets? Oh, for fuck's sake. I slipped him something to drink. Uh, can I hear this? <laughs> Oh, is that what you did? Barnabas is thinking about his yep. flask. Alan is not so thirsty. I am ready for this challenge we have. Yeah, all right. Tell you what, hang on to the back of the car. We're going to get out of here for a bit. Let's not stick around the scene of the crime and all. Of course. Uh, he's going to move around the back, and he's going to change his appearance to look like a uh, servant. Okay. What's your name? My name is Greco. Clan he's, Rovin. He's my hobgoblin. You hear that, right? You're his gobgoblin now. I belong to no one. Uh, I remember that. Did you have a nice sleep? It was... Uh, Mind opening. A journey for my soul and my mind. Yes. It is good to know what is there. Wait a minute. Am I to get this straight, Alistair? You told the big four-armed hag that we had a neighbor that was good at hiding. Yeah. Uh, I, we, we very much apologize, Mr. You said Rovin. Ingeraco, my clan. Is Robin. Uh, come, come into the cart. There's no need for you to ride on the back of it. There's no worries. I did not finish my exercises today. Uh, he steps in. You hear that? He exercises. <laughs> <laughs> I sound <laughs> so hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chuck is a fat man in heavy armor, and he's clutching onto a uh, clutching onto a backpack that seems to have a, a like a weird funerary urn in it. Alistair is this little kid in a mirrored mask. He's just looking at you, and he laughs every once in a while. Uh, Grackle is very th very thin and lean, tallish, quiet, but okay. solid. You do know what we're up against, do you, Grackle? I was informed of uh, sisters, uh, up to no good. They are endangering the place where we reside, my friends and my family. This is not acceptable. Okay, Chaka shrugs, he exchanged glances with Barnabas. 
Barnabas. Yeah, he just kind of shrugs. Like, all right, mate. As long as you uh, you don't break under pressure, because we ain't running after you. Let me check right. my wisdom save. <laughs> Very likely, yes. <laughs> there are no encounters. You know, we're likely heading into a fight right now, right? I am prepared. I prepared right. after my tea this morning. First of all. All right. Well, we're going to go kick in the doors of a warehouse and hope we find something. He nods. Okay. I rolled. There are no encounters on the way there. Damn it. There we go. If you will switch to the uh, Bold Holdings map. Okay. I think we're powering up, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, I think we're casting some spells. So, uh, Lois is out. Oh, yeah. A ghost flies out of the funerary here. <laughs> sure. I think Barnabas will cast some spells on himself. Your ancestor rides with you. This is, you show great honor. Uh, it's not my ancestor. I am Lois. I'm going to be the best swordsman ever. Uh, I apologize, but you will have to be second to best. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's the hob? <laughs> yeah. He's on our side, Lou. He's on our side. Pleasure to meet you. He does. Yep. Wow. Lou's gonna kind of like does it on guard with his sword and uh, mage armor and shield for Lose. Uh He might as well do an anticipate peril as well. Mort's gonna do a mutagen. Hey, I was I was inside as well. What the fuck? <laughs> Um, how badly is this how dangerous is this going to be um the three hags Mark it's going to be fucking bad I do not get time to purchase any scrolls or magics or potions can Grackle use a mage armor uh no but he could use Pretty much anything else you got. <laughs> uh, it would give me a plus one. Let me see. Plus one. Okay, Los will when because you because you back actually like uh, showed Los respect. He will he will touch you with the mage armor spell. I appreciate it, uh... Los. Remember the name. Best Los. swordsman ever. He <laughs> winks. Second. <laughs> uh, yeah, I appreciate that a lot, actually. It's this, it's this weird thing where he's looking at you, and there's kind of a cross look, and then like there's a flicker to him going, ah, 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 like, kind of like laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're only getting some of the, the frames of his, of, uh, of his projection. As uh, you guys entered Bold Town, you notice a lot of the buildings got a lot more squat. Mm -hmm. But many of the newer structures, and you can tell the newer structures because they're built for smaller folk. But it, it, these newer structures are built around a sort of a framework of older structures, uh, which are built for uh, medium creatures. But clearly, uh, the kobolds, this is their territory now. There are kobolds everywhere. Uh, what's the relationship between Hobbs and Kobolds? Um, neutral. Neither hostile nor particularly amicable. You've worked together as people in the past, and you've warred in the past. All right. Uh, Chaga's got a protection from evil. He's also going to give a protection from evil on Mort. Well, I will take that. Mort. 
Chaga is going to resist energy fire on himself. This uh, Grakko starts whispering to his sword. As much no. as Chaga wants to put Weapon of Awe on his own weapon, he's going to Weapon of Awe uh, Mort's um, club. Oh my god. Plus two damage, and then there's fear effects on god. crits. Okay, that's his cleric spells. His wizard spells, or his sorcerer spells. Uh, Expeditious Retreat. And Mirror Image, haha. Yeah. I think Barnabas is putting up a Mirror Image as well. It's one every three, right? Five images, fuck yeah. Yeah. All right, we're not done. Ghost. I have five minutes for Barnabas. Shield, Cat's Grace, Mirror Image. His sad eyes and gra grackles. <laughs> you you've got a magic weapon, right, Grackle? Uh, at this point, no, it does not. Okay, an oil of magic uh, weapon. An oil of magic weapon gets offered to you. Put it on your sword. If it's, it's not magic, just pulls out a sword, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh yeah, Ghost got five images as well. It's like we know. It's like we know this is going to be bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I need to do Junker. Junker is a bit more complex. Yeah, that second Does level. Does that give up? Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Well, I'll let you do it. Uh, so Junker's got shield on himself. Uh, does Mort need bull strength? More can use a bull strength, sure. Bull strength it is. More will take that without hesitation. There is Long Strider on both Junker and his rat. Nice. His rat gets Reduce Animal. Nice. Vine Strike. Greater Magic Fang. And resinous skin. Okay. I feel very unprepared. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, and a shield spell to boot. Okay. Oh yes, fucking perfect. The rat gets all. <laughs> he's for some reason he's turning the rat little and casting lots of spells on the rat. Uh, you're you're confused a little bit, but won't be in a moment. Oh, it's this is the thing of fucking beauty is what it is. <laughs> it's basically all of his spells. He, he like only prepared. He lost. He's aware this is a rat, yes? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah just you does. watch. <laughs> it's pretty gross is what he says. Um, right. Glad you are my allies. Wait, that was Russian. Glad you are allies. Okay. So right. you you guys spell up as you get there. There there is a ten foot looks like concrete wall with a and a the a double door on the side of the wall. It's made out of wood but it's braced with steel. Okay, we'll roll up to that door. Okay. I'll just take the whole room. Uh, a little bit past. All right. Uh, Gra, is there any other entrance to here? Windows? Nope. It's it's as far as you can tell. There's no top, but I mean you can't see ten feet up, so you can't see over the walls. But it uh, but you can see a building beyond it. So you're assuming there's no roof on there. It's just like a a, a fence basically. OK, 
Okay, Los is going to exit and take a peek through the door. Just stick his head through the door and have a look. He's going to do it in a stealthy manner. Yep, go ahead. Um, not 20 on the stealth, 39. So you do manage to see inside. Now let me see the first little bit. Yeah, you can see this much. Boom. You see, um, see a, a few kobolds lying around with spears, and these they look like peppercorn. These dogs, they they look like peppercorn, but they're like the size of a mast uh, mastiff. <laughs> you die here. Oh, that's funny. And her, I found them in I found them in the beast year or the beast year. I'm like, yeah. I have to use them. <laughs> All right. And there's, is there some sort of building inside the building? Or is that a wall or is that a yeah. moat? So what you're looking at, like here, is just like a, it's just a wall surrounding the property. Oh, there's no roof. Okay. There's no roof there. No. Like you can climb over the wall. Uh, what's what's holding yeah. the door closed? Uh, it's just a. Um piece of wood okay um like a like a two by eight how much does that weigh uh i'll say less than 100 pounds oh okay so mage hand isn't moving the piece of wood no it's not hmm Okay, Los will report. You won't believe it, but there's a bunch of giant peppercorns inside there. And a bunch of, uh, there's a building in the middle and there's some hobgoblins. I counted, uh, Kobold. kobolds, yeah, uh, like five dogs and four kobolds that I could see. That doesn't sound so bad. There's a, there's a wooden bar on the other side of the door. It's, uh, too heavy for me to lift. I'll get it. Just some dogs, right? Uh, yeah. They're big dogs. Fucking big dog. I'm not sure a big dog. I a big dog right here. <laughs> Mark gets big. At this point, he just kind of pulls himself up and looks over. I got this. <laughs> the little gnome in full plate grackle just turned into an ogre size. Yeah. <laughs> he just... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right. Uh, Ooh, quick D twenty. Does the it it opens in right? Uh, yes, it does. It does. Okay, Chaga's going to move all the way up, so Los has got some range. Okay, Mort jumps over. Uh, this sets the dogs off, but he has a chance to basically flip the uh, over lift. And, and he opens the door. <clears throat> okay. So the doors are open. Or this this door here is open. Grackle, what's your initiative? I think we're storming the, yeah, the, the dog pen. Now. Uh, Grackle's got an initiative of plus... Uh, uh, ten. Ten? Wow. Yeah. And then, more. you don't have a ten plus one right now because you're big when initiative started? Uh, no, I do. yeah, that's correct. Right. No, Los no is a plus for. three temp because he's got anticipate peril up. Right. Oh, um, I gotta roll hit points. All right, go ahead. Mm, 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 mm. Six, that's good. So, 40. What am I adding to the initiative, Mark? Dire Corgi and Kobolds? Kobolds, uh, Kobold Elite. Instead and, of Kobolds or both? Uh, Kobolds and Kobold Elite. Both. Okay. And uh, one more. Okay. There we go. I uh, have... Actually, Marty, it's a 12. And I will add in the modifiers. So initiative is 12 for me. Nice. Okay. Ahmed. Yeah. Welcome. Um, this one. 
Let the blood shed <laughs> Yep. This is a good backup character, I'm glad we could Yeah. Alright, plus two. AC is something else to be spoken for. Hopefully they die before they get to act. Is there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing a lot of hags on there, Mark. No, nope, not yet. <laughs> Wow, Grackle, Los, Barnabas, Mort, Junker, Chaga, then the Dire Corky, Kobold, Ghost, Alistair, Kobold, Leak, and then oh Jerkle. Slaughter. <laughs> Jerkle. What a jerk. <laughs> Alright, Grackle. Uh, is the door open? Uh, the door's open, yes. You can, you can walk open. through. Okay. Uh, he's running up to this dog. Okay. I'm moving him. Uh, quick drawing my blade. Slice. Let's see how this goes. Duh. Nice. All right. Uh, thing is flat-footed. That is absolutely frightening. It's a corgi the size of a mastiff. Yeah. They've got sharp teeth. Yeah. Eh? They, they have sharp teeth. They, they look like me. Damage. Uh, fifteen. Flat footed. Uh, yes, that hits. Woohoo! All right, cool. Uh, the corgi. <laughs> yes, they're the corgi of death. They are dire corgis, dear. They are uh, vicious, they vicious creatures. They will cute you to death. <laughs> yeah. Look at that face. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how much damage? <laughs> uh, thirty-five damage. Uh, 35. That's yeah. bullshit. Hang on. Your sneak attack's a little high for fifth level. Uh, yeah, you should only be 3d6. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Take so off. take three off of that sneak attack. So 32. And then... Uh, wait, hold on. Let me let me actually... Oh, you're right, you're right. Give me a sec, give me a sec. So let's see, plus 11, plus 4. No, it's plus 15. That's right. You're a lot higher when I'm higher level. Oh, okay. 3d6. That's the last thing I didn't change. 3d6. Right. So okay. 32 damage. The, the 15 is correct, though, right? Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to attack again. Can you walk us through 15? Yeah. Uh, I add my level and my dex, which is 11. And oh, then I wow. did a piranha strike. So plus four. Okay. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Slice! That's, <laughs> uh, that's another hit. Yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on a sec. You okay? Sixteen. Last time was a fifteen. I don't know if it's still alive, but I assume it is. Hang on. That was. Oh, Grackle is amazing. Yeah. No, it's 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 dead. It's dead. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh, well, it's. It's incapacitated. Would you care to move on to a new one, or you just want to finish this? Oh, one 33 off? damage. <laughs> you... well, I... Yeah, let them move to me and attack. I'm not going to someone so they can attack me. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. That is... <laughs> Slices this thing down and downwards puts it down. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Okay, can't wait to see the... Wow, yeah. Oh, All right, Los. Los just sort of looks like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, he can move to this corgi. Yep. And he will attack. His attacks are going to be somewhat inferior to Crackles. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost, though. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know, give me a few levels. He'll always be a couple levels behind. I think. Um, and he has spells. That's the that's the kicker. Oh yeah, seventh level for Grackle's gonna be gross. He's just gonna yeah. be able to. Yeah, you know, I faint automatically, no roll, and then with his last attack, just hit for sneak attack. Yeah. Okay, nat twenty. Well, like critical oh, threat. Okay. AC twenty six is a crit. That's it. Yep. Standard damage plus 1d3 to a random ability score, so it loses yeah, six, uh, oh, three charisma. 
and then standard critical, so 44 plus um, 16 is 28 damage to the Corgi. Okay, well, you put the Corgi down. Nice. Disabled. Okay. And then he he sees what Grackle's doing, so he'll use his last attack to, like, to like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stick the pointy blade down into the thing. And he looks over at Grackle and just gives him a nod. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll not roll a one. Yeah, he doesn't roll a one. He, he puts the Corgi out. All right. Barnabas. His sword is long and thin and made for stabbing, where I'm guessing yours is like really cutting. <clears throat> yeah. Barnabas comes through. Uh, does not have that feat yet. Shit. And he's going to. Uh, he's know he's going to take aim at the, the kobold in the door here with his crossbow. Those are ugly kobolds. Well, that's why I picked them. Yeah. I feel bad about killing something that ugly. Uh, part of this doesn't shoot things often. Give me a second. Plus, oh, he's got a plus one, uh, plus seven. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> bard song going. Plus two plus bard two. song, too. Yeah, yeah bard boy. Bard and his bard song is. Take their fucking heads, boys! <laughs> They're really into this, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a fully powered up Mort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's. Oh, he sees the guys over here. He's like, ah! <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, he can get there. Sees a little cold hold there. And open up this a bit more. Oh, another corgi. Let's see there. The corgi of nightmares. Uh, more Twenty plus bard song plus oh so much stuff. Yes. I'm pr it's pretty much don't roll one. Didn't roll a one. He kills the kobold flat out. Like there's uh, no. I forgot to power up Alistair. Give me a second. Yeah, go ahead. Actually, give me two seconds. I gotta do something here. And... Yeah. Oh, that's a like that's like a platform. Walk... Yeah, it, it's a, it's a raised platform. It's about five feet up. <laughs> All right, Alistair cast. Yeah, long... he, he's large and has long arms up. Long arm on himself. <laughs> Um, okay. Give me two seconds. I'll be right back. Yep. We'll keep playing. Don't worry. <laughs> we killed everybody. It was cool. <laughs> wow. It's it awesome. <laughs> We're doing so well. Did you get your 100,000 gold off? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Well, apparently, Alistair doesn't have many buffs. He's got one spell. I found this box and bonus XP popped out of it. It was weird. All right, to be honest, I really haven't built Los's build uh, that far out. Um, I only have his next level planned out. Oh, I remember Flensing. Somebody had that. I think it was... I, th I think Cade had that. It's the one that does bleeding. And then Ghost, uh, Ghost has to take archery feats. Um, we just recently leveled. I usually, I usually, uh, after we level, like then we'll sit down and kind of plan out the next level or two. I haven't done that with these characters yet because we just, just leveled last game. Chaga is the only one I think that I've got planned out, sketched out for a few levels. Yeah. Uh, level 6 Chaga is basically more spells. Uh, level 7 Chaga is Quick Channel, because I think ripping off uh, negative energy channels as a single action are going to be fun. Good thing I didn't go with uh, Lawful Good. <laughs> no, it's uh, Alive or Dead. 
Not it's channel channel has nothing to do with alignment. I know. It still there's a dirty feeling inside. <laughs> well, yeah, because because <laughs> you basically said I am not a good priest. <laughs> Well, the the chaotic evil little psycho is the one that that fed you the little potion. Yeah. Uh, Greco, Greco's, yeah, he's like, he's lawful, but yeah. they shouldn't be doing this. Let's stop them <laughs> and steal this shit while we're at it. <laughs> You're in the wrong group to be good aligned. Yep, we take jobs from hags and we learn from liches. <laughs> Cool. Yep. <laughs> Our trainer for the last two levels have, has been the lich trapped in the basement. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Because every one of the characters so far on the party, you work for him. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yep. Well, we've done a few jobs for him, so we kind of do work for him. But we're squatting in his tower, not helping him out. So we're we're playing a long and dangerous game. See how long that lasts. <laughs> mm-hmm. Grackle hits hard, man. Oh, uh, the, with we, the sneak attack. We, sneak well, attack. with a plus twelve initiative, it, it's like opening salvo. Grackle cuts it down. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. That's the idea. We needed another striker in this group. This group's feeling uh, really strong at this point. I need, yeah, he. I do need bonuses though. My AC is not very good. <laughs> I wonder if we could help. See how that goes. Wonder how we could help. Magic. Uh, my dex is maxed out with this armor. Oh, uh, you're wearing armor. Yep. Yeah. It's um. Oh right, light armor it works. Yeah. It's light armor. Yeah, my my. Do you um, have a buckler? It's his sheath is uh, has got metal bands running along it. Hmm. And he uses his free hand to just nudge it in places to. So yeah, it, it, he has a buckler, and it acts. His sheath acts as a buckler. That's cool. Yeah. So basically, we're gonna stick magic on your. Uh, buckler. He had. Uh, I I took off a bunch of items. I took off a bunch of items for him in fifth. Yep. But. Uh... Um, oh wait basically you have two devices we can continue to enchant your armor and your shield um i have to... a necklace as well hold on, hold on. i took off armor on my arm she my armor is gonna be a lot crappier than this so i have an amulet a ring and a buckler oh, okay i took the magic off uh, off the sheet of my armor and my buckler hmm. so my AC is armor's th right three dex dex buckler. You're is a swashbuckler. You can repost, right? Yes, I can. Oh, okay, well then that's that's basically your AC. Yes, it. I mean that helps us, but two days ago I had a forty some AC. <laughs> you see the problem? Well, yeah, you you created him as a backup character for the other party, right? Eighth, right? Yeah, yeah, that's why we had to back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no, no, no. Uh, I meant I was playing as cog. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Like, yeah, yeah. Huh, tank. <laughs> this guy's like, yeah, oh, shit. three, this three guy's levels. Shit. <laughs> three levels from now, and all that treasure. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be a different story. Yeah, there's a couple of. I found a couple of cool things. Uh, I'm stacking magic. I'm not saying like, okay, I'm gonna get a, a you know boots and then a ring no i'm saying okay what ability can i put into that ring that's really cheap you know what i mean and and i'm keeping as many items free on mm. my body as possible i i put a tattoo on for it like that that tattoo uh, i looked at the price it's it's worth taking double price for that 400, yes, 400 gold pieces to change your clothes that's awesome yeah you might have a few copycats i was like hey i want bracers Oh, but no, I've got a tattoo. I've got a, I've got these these uh, uh, cloth things. Like, wait, fuck, it's two hundred gold. Who cares? <laughs> um, there's a bunch of things I would. There's a there's a couple of things I want to get, but I, I can't afford it. 
I know you guys can't see me, but I'm back. <laughs> I'm the amazing invisible DM. <laughs> oh, did we lose your feed again? Yeah, the video cut out again. I'm sure it'll come back. All right. Um, yes, Fox, I can. Uh, I am very feet starved, though. <clears throat> I still have a whole bunch of feats that I want to grab, and that's not even crane style or faint. All right, next in initiative was Junker. All right, Junker. Junker is just going to move in. Release the rats. <laughs> Against the corgis and the... No, I think we're just going to move in here and ready to attack. Okay. Chaga. Those are birds, right? Not a squealing dog. Those are those are seagulls. Okay. Oh, angry, angry seagulls. Whoa. Who was that chased you off the roof? Yep. Oh. Chaga's just going to form a line. Okay, what is that urn? The urn is... Uh, what Los came out of. Chaga Got carries it. the urn That's around. Close. Yeah. Um, Chaga in his full plate and tower shield moves in. And I think we're just going to piss off the kobolds. Like, we're not going to. He's going to use a wand that he never uses. He's going to magic missile the kobold in front of him. For six damage. Uh, six damage. At, that hurts him. Okay. Oh no! Unleash uh, the dire crookies. <laughs> are you sure it's not? How many? Sorry, scroll back down. Are you sure it's only two d four? It's from a okay. wand. Oh, it's from a wand. Okay. He's got a fifty charge third level one that he oh, never yeah. uses, so yeah, he's just he's just that's awesome. He's just gonna use that for a while. He's saving the big kaboom for when the eggs show up. Yeah, six damage you said? Yeah, six. Yeah, ah, you bloodied it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> blast my first level spells at him. No, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I don't have a a ring of wizardry one mark. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up. Tire Corgis! Tire Corgis! <laughs> Alright, this one jumps down off of here and comes after Burn or Mort. And potential AOO. Uh, that is a hit. Uh, plus. Ooh, uh, with that plus part song, kick. Uh, and weapon of awe, good lord. Uh, part song, full strength, strength, weapon of awe. Yeah, and then 21, full strength, plus three, weapon of awe, plus two, plus. From Bard Song. Thirty-seven outright killing the thing. Squish. Squish. Right. And this one probably suffers the same fate. He's got combat reflexes? He does. Oh wow. <coughs> so he plays whack-a-mole. Yeah. Same thing, yeah. So you just see more like slam, slam, slam as all these things coming after him. Uh, those are those ones. Uh, hang on a sec. Yep. So this one. Comes after Grackle. Oh no, the new guy. Yeah. Welcome, new guy. <laughs> so that one's gonna attack me. 
Yeah, it is attacking you. I'm just checking the speed. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the new guy dies to a dagger. Dire Gorgie. Dire Gorgie. <laughs> <laughs> and Otherman's just like, we will never. 20, 20, 100. <laughs> oh no, there's another one. <laughs> and this one's coming after Barnabas, but doesn't get an attack. Barnabas, like, ah! <laughs> fuck. Get away. <laughs> um, the. Um... Do you have long arms or anything? For no, 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 no. No, I have no magic. <laughs> Oh, magic? That's crazy, man. Yeah. Um, no, the question is, if I want to use repost, how does that work? I have to do it. I have to say I'm wait, doing wait. it before the attack. Right? Yes. You can block, and then uh, by spending I a, think, I think by spending a panache, reaction. yes, by spending a panache, you can attack back. Yes. You have to have at least one panache to block. <clears throat> Oh, um, <laughs> um, I don't actually have that feat yet. Are you sure? That's like first level swashbuckler. <sighs> no, because he was not built at first, then second, then third. He was built at a certain level. <laughs> so I don't have that. I have something else instead. And I've already used them too. So, But are you talking about the swashbuckler deed? The deed for repost. I don't... So he he's not... Or is that third level? No, oh, opportunity yeah. parry and repost is first. Okay, so you should have that. You get all the deeds, dude. You don't have to pick. Yeah, you don't have to pick them or anything. You get you get them all. Oh, really? Holy crap! All right, awesome. all right, we're good. We're good. Woo. Clenched right. for a bit. <laughs> oh, you spend yeah. a panache to parry the attack. Yeah, you have to have one to. And if you uh, have at least one. Then you, you can, can immediate repost. action to repost. Okay. I think you have to roll for both though. Yep. Yep. And it's at a minus two, one, a minus two. Two. Yeah. Uh, depending. Yeah. All right. So the corgi. No, the penalty is a minus two for the size of the creature. Okay. So. Yeah. No penalty on this then. Yep. Uh, I'm not going to. Yeah, you you probably should save your yeah let's AC twenty. Uh, no, uh, that's a miss. Okay, it jumps up at your face and misses. Oh fuck! I'm glad I did. Uh, hang on, I just want to double check. There's no more corgis. Uh, well, you guys killed corgis pretty goddamn quick. Yeah, you uh, dog murderers today. Okay, that's it for the corgis. Next, kobolds. All right, these kobolds are a little shaken. This guy jumps onto that, tries to jump onto that wagon to go after Mort. Hang on. Mort uses his last AOO. To splatten another thing. Damn. And these guys. Second last. Yes. Okay. To... Uh... <laughs> ah! We will be craving claw. All right. All right. One on. Oh, let me see. Got more to move. Okay, we'll do these ones, and I'll move the rest of them. Ah, oh, they they said their gang name in a cute in a cute voice. <laughs> <laughs> we be craven. Is that claw. is that how dismissive you are? Oh, that's <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Kobolds. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm bowling for twenties against you guys. So. Mm. Nope. What do you see? Um, Against you know whom? You're right. I'll double check. Yeah. You're right. Because kobolds are small and dexy. And, and so sad. So, so sad. I, I played these guys wrong, but they're, they're eager. We'll just say they're eager to prove themselves. So that was AC 10. On? On Crack uh, Crackle. Okay. 
What are they fighting with? Spears. Yeah, spears. Oh. Interesting. Uh, Crackle just like kicks the spear in a way. <laughs> yeah, uses, yeah, uses the, the sword to go. <laughs> I think uh, another guy missed on Chaga. And I think the other guy on Chaga gets two attacks. What AC on Chaga? Because Chaga's got images. 18. Nope. That doesn't hit an image. You're, you're, you can just step back from these weak little pathetic spear jabs. Okay. You don't, they don't. He can't even hit your images. Hmm. Uh, not one. Uh, <laughs> oh damn, damn son. And that's a miss. Mm. Yeah, sign in the news. All right. The... Was it magic? It was Neely. Slipped, you were knocked prone. What a bad day for Cole. All right, so who's this guy? This guy falls flat on his ass. That was after his first attack, so his second action is to get up. Yeah, well, yeah, go ahead. All right, here we go. Um, Uh, seventeen. That that is a hit. Okay. I oh, hang on. Let me double check. Or triangle. That's a hit. And yep. Uh, twenty-one damage. Yeah, you you cut him shoulder to waist, and he falls in half. <laughs> Uh, and these guys, that goes to here, and up here, and he is going to, ready to attack with his sling. Adam would be super pissed if he was here. Why is that? He's killing dogs. Dog. <laughs> Kill the dire corgis. All right. Next on initiative. Uh... Ghost, then Alistair. Ghost, Ghost is going to come. All these dead dogs. Best day of Alistair's life. Is Barnabas got a weapon in hand or no? He's got a crossbow in hand. Damn it. Okay. Uh, Junker will... Take his ready to action to five foot step, and then they're gonna fight. A ghost is gonna fire a rapid shot. Okay. What are the bonuses that are running? Uh, bard song. Oh, I didn't add that. Okay, irrelevant. You kill it. Oh no! I did. That's right. Cat's yeah. grace. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, flank is two, cat's grace is four, point blank shot is five, bard song is seven. I will deadly aim plus five, so plus fifteen on a kobold AC thirty two. Yep. That's two d six plus four plus two. Okay, let me save you some math. You you kill him. He was already hurt. Plus 4 <laughs> plus 3d6. Uh, 28 damage to the kobold. <laughs> yeah. Dead many times over. Yeah. Alright, I will rapid shot a kobold that isn't going to get the flank because we're too far away. Yeah. Uh, so the other uh, the other arrow flies near Grackle, AC 17. I do have precise strike. Uh, that's a hit. Okay, 2d6 plus... Four plus two for Bard Song plus four for Deadly Aim. Sixteen damage against this kobold. He takes the arrow in the chest and falls down. Okay. Two moves and a rapid shot. Yeah. Alistair will move in. <laughs> Bad dog. Uh, and we'll t touch the dog with okay. his touch of corruption. Uh, 
AC 21. That's a hit. Seven damage, no save, and it gets to make a four to, or sorry, a will save DC 16 at a minus four or be shaken for five rounds. Okay. Uh, took the will save with Dire Corgi. Never thought I'd be saying that. Twelve, so it fails. Okay, it is shaken. Okay. It's scared. It's it's real scared, guys. Cobalt Elite are waiting. Oh, he didn't have to get that close in. He's got long arm up. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Okay. The Cobalt Elite are doing their thing. Jericho is doing his thing. Grackle. Uh, so the one that's in the... What's with the, what's with the uh, yellow... It's scared. It got it got hit by this crackling energy at the end of uh, uh, of uh, Alistair's hand, and it's like shaken. Okay, so let's strike the one right in front of us, and then we'll strike the one behind us. Okay. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Strike. Step. Strike. Yep. Yeah. Three action system. Feeling fun. Twenty one. Uh, 22 damage. And then he's going to move this, oops, this way. Oops, this way. If you're here, you're flanking with Alistair. Oh, oh, right, sorry. Long arm. Uh, he's, got, uh, he's, he's got a crossbow out. Okay, Alistair has long arm. I did not know that. All right, cool. Um... Ooh. Critical threat. Critical hit. Critical hit. Crit, crit, crit. Uh, <laughs> Amazing <eight>. critical. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. So, uh, this Tri thing. This triple is damage? A, it does triple damage and amazing, right? Yep. 3d8. This is 15, 16, 17. <laughs> <laughs> that's <spray of> blood. <laughs> Fuck me, 51. <laughs> you're muted, Mark, if you're describing. <laughs> it, it is the a power of blood a la Japanese anime <laughs> samurai yeah. show. <laughs> it's like damage. Yeah, yeah, you just lop its head off. It's. Oh, I chose right. Oh my goodness, it's disgusting. <laughs> wow. Yeah. How did you get plus fifty one? Um, fifteen. Um, seventeen times three. How do you get to seventeen? De oh, Dex have... plus level. Dex plus level plus piranha strike plus two. Good. Okay, you, you don't get to multiply your precise strike damage. Oh, precise. But I mean, don't get me wrong. That's just for future reference. Okay, so hold like on. you did more than enough damage without precise. And strike then you're entirely. also forgetting the plus one from the uh, from the oil of magic weapon we gave you. Yeah, and oh. it looks and, and you multiplied your critical attack your uh, sneak attack damage, which you can't do. Yep. Okay, so sneak and the level the bonus to level doesn't damage right? that's correct okay so it would be 3d8 plus 18 19 20 uh 8 which is 24 plus my level which would be 5 plus the 3d6 plus 3d6 yeah plus 3d6 oh and i even no sorry i just want to see uh yeah the, yeah, yeah uh plus the 18 plus That'd be twenty-four. 
plus three from the weapon plus the five plus three d6 okay mm -hmm. So 60 damage. Right. Yeah. So you, you lop its head off without issue. <laughs> Alistair is uh, painted. Oh, he's 10 feet away. It almost hits him. It's like a little fun. <laughs> he's, he's, he's giggling because it's funny. Is this one still up? Uh, yes, it is. It's okay. disabled. It, it's limping there. Los, um, Los will come in for the flank and stab the thing. Basically, like, be a good teammate. Yeah. And hit the thing. Eight plus ten plus I think he only has a D six sneak attack. Oh. Yeah. Poking the thing for nineteen. Uh yeah, killing it. So moved stab and then he'll move again. And he'll move through the wall here just to have a have a look at what's going on in this yeah. building. When he saw the move behind him to get the the uh, the uh, flank and yep. then move out again, he's like, "Good." <laughs> All right. <laughs> See inside now. Yeah, we'll I'll open it all up. Ah, there are stairs. <laughs> Is that going up or down? Uh, those are going up, actually. Wow, well, okay, yeah. Okay, I see that. Five more kobolds inside. Uh, and the one in the center... Um, oh, I can't do it with this. This one... Damn it, it's happening again. This one? Yes, he is spellcasting. Spellcaster! Hey, uglies, over here! You will pay for invading our territory. I don't have any money. They look briefly confused. <laughs> they don't. Barnabus? Barnabus. Uh, ta -da. Uh, step down here. Oh, I might. The thing will get its attack, though. That's my name. Don't worry now. Ah! Stone goes near Barnabas. Missing, though. Uh, Barnabas. Sorry, Barnabas. muffled under clothing. That's my yeah. name. Don't worry now. Ah! <laughs> Is it a parrot or something? Barnabas. It's the... It's that uh, docking landing with his crossbow bolt. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> this is harder than it looks, you know. That's okay, and... Barnabas. You can just stand in the back and know things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's basically... He's, he's, he is the Sonny of this party. <laughs> I'll just stay here. <laughs> you know, Sonny was very useful last adventure. Oh. Yes. And, and Barnabas, maybe, eventually, as well. And Dugan. But not yet. <laughs> and Dugan. Holy crap, you guys pulled some good moves out there. Yeah. I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out for Dugan. Until he dies, I'm sure. <laughs> it's going great. Then they blew up. <laughs> no, I, I'm just keenly aware I'm out of hero points now. In that particular game. All right. Barnabas missed. Next up, Los. Oh no, sorry, Mort. 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 Walk around this. Step over. Oh, hello. Ha ha ha. Squish. Squish. Those are closed or ones open? It's like ones open. Say, say that again? Oh, these look like doors, yeah. Yeah. Those you can see inside. Mm -hmm. This one door here is open as per the drawing. Alright, that was... That was two moves. So, uh, Junker, Benchaga. 
Okay. So Junker. I gotta check to see what Long Strider does. Uh, I think it's ten. Yeah. One move. It's gonna hide in this junk. Okay. Twenty stealth. He's just hiding amongst the boxes. Okay. And right. he's got a ready to action to uh, to fire with ghost. Okay. Chaga. Expeditious retreat, Chaga. So he is. It's one move. What's going on? Chaga go? Or... Yeah, he moved, and I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Hmm. Uh, 25 feet plus 5 feet over 2 levels. Um, he is just not high enough level to... I guess he can move into yeah. here. Chaga is going to ready a mind thrust against Jerkle to interrupt his spell casting. Okay. Because Chaga tonight's Chaga. the bigger jerk. Yeah. Corgi and Kobold are dead. Ghost and Alistair. Can I remove them? Yeah, you may as well. Okay. They're done. Ghost. Oh, it has to triple move to. Uh... He did not. He, yeah, he does not have Long Strider up, so. No. He, he will move into hiding spot as well. Okay. Alistair. His hide is worse. 18. Alistair will... <laughs> He's just laughing at the... The carnage. <laughs> at the carnage. He'll double move. Sees everyone hiding in the boxes. He'll go under this card if he can. Yep. You get under the card. Take cover. Some cover there. Cobalt Elite. Are um, delaying right now. Jerkle is casting another spell. Okay. Chaga will interrupt. Okay. 23 damage will save DC 15. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, 20, 20 trickles. Seven, uh, 17. That's nine. Uh, failed. So how much damage? 23 mental damage and then he needs to make a concentration check dc 33 plus spell level to get the spell off sorry how much 23 damage 23 yeah okay 23 damage let's see if he can even possibly make that i don't think so does have combat cast
Chaka would also like to know, but fails miserably, uh, like to know what spell he was trying to cast. But... 